Hey everybody, Lisa over at iRepair Devices, and today in my workbench, I'm working on another Bose three disc CD changer. Um, now, this unit uh, came in from if I uh, if I butcher your city name, I do apologize, um, Vacaville, California, and um, this the customer indicates that they're getting disc error and grinding noise can be heard within the unit. Um, so let's go ahead and power this up and see if we can hear the same noise that the customer heard. Uh, where is my power cord? Now I do already have some of it already taken apart. So it's starting up fine right now. This is the normal startup phase. Right. Okay. All right. So that must be the grinding noise the customer has heard. So let's go ahead and see what is going on with this. So let's just disconnect this and move this over. So when I had it, the grinding noise, I can hear it coming from this side of the uh, mechanism so so I'm going to be focusing over in this area now um, first thing I'm going to do is just disconnect the cable here and let's remove the screws from this bottom board cables and we got one cable on the top here disconnect set him off to the side okay so as you can see here we have some gears and motor we have we have some gears and then underneath here uh, it's hard to see but there is a little motor so I'm going to be focusing on this area here now I can't power it on and have it together uh, because the ribbon cables are just too short. So what I normally do is I hook up my power supply and I will test the motor and see if the motor's causing it or is it coming from one of the gears. So let me turn on my power supply. All right, I have it set at four volts. And let's see here. My head may get in the way, so I do apologize because I need to see where the terminals are at. So we've got negative here. And positives inside here. Okay. You hear that grinding noise? I can see exactly what's going on. And that was a quick. Here's the culprit right here. Let me see if I can zoom it in. I don't know. Let me see. Let me, um, give me one second here. Let's get this guy in focus or autofocus. cut my power supply don't want that on anymore you can see the culprit right now if you look here again I'll try to get it zoomed in okay, let me remove another bracket here gonna zoom in there we go still it's gonna it's hard to see but if we look at this these two gears right here there's a broken tooth one of the teeth is missing right there and that's what's making that I call it I don't call it a grinding noise I call it a stuttering um, 
so what we need to do is replace the gear and I do have spare parts I'm even even um, starting to uh, make my own parts on my uh, on my own here um, uh, using my 3d printer and everything so uh, but I know I have a spare uh, gear here so let's go ahead and get this guy taken apart and see if this solves the issue now there could be multiple things going on but that was the first um, first thing I'm going to focus on is removing that broken uh, gear so let's go ahead and remove the housing here I'm going to have to remove the side screw, kind of back him out a little bit so I can get this guy out. Because I just want him to slide right up and out here. Because unfortunately, in order to remove that gear, I have to remove the gear that's... Um, um, right before that so it's not a simple um, you know just pop it out and you're good so I'm gonna have to remove this guy as well so I gotta tear it down a little bit further here side guy out of the way here now this isn't one of my normal repairs so far it seems like all the ones that have that have come through here basically just uh, just need a realignment or the optical lens to need to be um, cleaned so uh, this is actually the first one that uh, where the gear is actually broken, which I'm surprised. I mean, it is heavy duty, but you know, there's a first for everything. So, God, he's out of the way. Now let's lift him up and out. Okay, you want to be careful with this because the optical lens is inside there. You don't want to jostle around too much. Okay, so we got those two screws removed from before, and I should, let's see, where are we at? missing one so we've got five screws here there we go so now the bottom's gonna drop out so let's just slowly lower it out of the way and you don't want to you don't want to be rough with it because you don't want to bend the material here because then it will not sit straight in there and then you'll have issues with the CD spinning so here is the area that we're going to be focusing on right over here. And this is the broken uh, gear that we need to remove. But first we need to remove this guy in order to get to that guy. So okay, just bring him down here. And get underneath my scope here because I have to remove the clips that are holding it in place. So... I need, I need two tweezers here, so that's it. Oh. 
slippery little guy. Come on. There we go. Oh. All right. So now, oh. there we go. Let's back him out. Remember, you don't want to break the clip because you you need to re you need to have it to go back into place there, or this gear will not sit correctly. All right. So he's out. Okay, so now we're just going to pull him up and just set him off to the side. And then we're going to get this bottom clip here. Now this one has a spring so I can push it down so I can get my tweezers underneath the Maybe you want to see this on the on the scope. So let me bring up my microscope. There we go. Let's turn off the overhead. All right, and let's get this in focus for you. Turn that one up right a second. There we go. All right, clip is removed. Set that to the side. Now I'm gonna have to remove this. This. All right, off with the scope. I have to remove this bracket down here in order to now remove the gear. So I got to remove this. I call it like a plunger of some sort. So I'm just gonna just. pinch them together to release them. There we go. Now you have clips underneath there, so you got to make sure you have, when you go to clip it back in, that you have all the springs clipped in accordingly, or it's not going to work properly. So, all right, so let's, there we go. And two, you don't want to rush popping this out because if you break the clips then this is not going to sit properly so now this has a spring underneath there so we got to be careful with that all right so here is the gear that is bad there's the broken tooth and that's where it was getting held up that's where the stuttering was at from that broken tooth so now let's Go ahead and replace it. All right, so let's I have a replacement one right here, so let's just so as you can see, I got a good working one right here. All the oh, all the teeth are intact. So let's get. 
get it back into the back onto the spring so let's remove the clip here I don't want to lose them these guys go bouncing all over the place so and if you lose them you're screwed unless you have some laying around which I do but all right so now we got them in place so now let's get this clip back in here the sides here and squeeze it back down between the there we go and now I have to slide over the spring so it could sit inside the spring as it should let's just, oh, let's just pop it out and just, just move the spring there we go Now let's get the clip back into place. Going to need my microscope here. All I'm doing is just popping on that clip. And then now uh, we have to put this gear back on. And the clip that went to that one. I'll go in and clean all this up afterwards, but I want to see if this solves the issue. Like I said, there could be other uh, problems going on, but all right. So now what I'm going to do is put on the housing, put on the bottom bracket. I'm going to go ahead and put that back into place. And let's see here. You go this way. Nope. You go this way. All right. So we got to make sure this guy is underneath. So you got to pay attention to when you're removing these. Uh, brackets here because you got to make sure when you put them in that you have everything all the wiring going back in as it was prior to being uh, taken apart here because I know this green red and green white and black wire actually run underneath the housing here so gotta make sure that sits like that and, and again like I said you don't want to rush it if it's not going in just slowly back it out and just feed it in just Take your time, because it will get there. It's just, and there we go. That's good. So I'm going to put on this side screw first. Someone asked me if I enjoy working on these Bose systems, and I do, because every time um, I get a repair in, sure, some of them are, you know, several of them are, are about the same, but this one... You know broken gear so now you're actually tearing it further apart so you're actually seeing more of how it operates inside and everything and you're seeing all the gears and, and motors so I, I enjoy it I enjoy it. I really enjoy trying to figure out 
what's going on, how to fix it, what we can do. And like I said, a lot of these parts are not available anymore. So now I'm able to reproduce them on my uh, 3D printer. So, which is pretty cool. Okay, so we've got all screws back into place. This all looks nice and flush. Let me tighten on this side screw here. All right, so now let's get it back together and then go ahead and power it up and see if this solves the issue, which I have a feeling it's going to be. But there might be other problems going on as well. So first, first thing is first, we need to get it back assembled because I needed to get it powered on to see if that solved the issue. Well, actually, what I could do is I don't have to get it all the way assembled. I can test it with my power supply real quick. All right. Way here. All right, so there is that, and let's get there. We go. If you can hear it, I'm not hearing that click, 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 click there, or that that stuttering. So, so that resolved that issue. So that's good. And this clip is not in place. There we go. There. So I'm going to have to get this back somewhat assembled so I can test it, power it on, get a CD thrown in there. And then what I'll do afterwards, after once I know everything is running, I'm not going to do it on camera here, but I'm, I, I will go through and revisit all the gears in case some of them need to be re-greased, you know, kind of re-lubed and whatnot, but I'm not going to bore you with that on camera or on video here. So, all right, so we got the bottom bracket on. Let's get the, this board back into place. Plug him in, plug in that cable, plug in this cable. So now I'm ready for the drive mechanism. So just that guy. Let's feed him back down here. Make sure he's all no, that's out of the way and get it clipped into this bottom bracket here all right so now gotta drop him down into place and move this switch over and get him locked into place here there we go all right let's get a screw in place and then I'll, I'll go ahead and slide it down the rest of the rail but I want to get this switch back into place here so it's not flopping around on me there we go all right so now let's just slide this guy back down there okay everything looks good let's get the side brackets on now 
<laughs> oh, yep, need this guy here. That's all, missing one. There we go. Let's get this back bracket in place and we should be ready to go and test this out. So I'm going to show this on my clip here. Oh, he popped out. All right, you popped out. That's all right. Let's just give you a little nudge. There you go. Awesome. Now I'm going to put this top bracket on and just uh, hold it down with, with just a couple of screws here because I, I want to go through now the part of powering it up and inserting the CD here. And I want this bracket in place here because when this mechanism goes up and down, it's going to stop. So I'm just going to just put a couple in place here. Let's get that small one in. There we go. All right, so let me move that gear out of the way there. So, ooh, fingers crossed. Let's see if this uh, if this fixes everything. That'd be great. So let's go ahead and plug it into the main housing here. Power it up and let it go through the startup phase, which we know this wasn't no issue here. Uh, did the normal clicking. It was, it came, uh, the problem was when this guy was raising up and down, that's where that stuttering came into place. All right. You know what? I always do this. Did not plug in the CD. Doo! So I'm like, I'm like, why is it not going up and down the rail there? Well, dumbass, you don't have it plugged in. That's all right. There we go. Plugged in. Let's try this again. Okay. Bad thing is, every time you turn it off, it starts from the beginning through the startup phase. So we're hearing all the clicking, testing each of the drives, and now it's going to go up and down. Okay. I hear no grinding, no clicking. 
the clicking you hear, which is this guy over here, that's normal. But we don't hear that grinding or that stuttering that we heard in the beginning. So now let's go ahead and throw a CD in here and see if it's lined up properly and if we get audio output. Can't play it long due to copyright protection, but at least it'll give us an idea of... All right, so it's not lined up. Which is fine. Because I can always go ahead and do the realignment. So let's get this guy ejected. Okay. So now let's just power power it down and let's get it realigned. Spin. All right, it's spinning. Do we have output? Hmm. No output. Hmm. Like I said, that could be due to the optical lens. So. Let's turn it on and see if I can see if there's any life left to it. So I'm going to turn it on. I'm going to stand it up. for if I could see the light turn on. Okay, yeah, no, I'm not seeing any light coming on, so the optical lens is shot. So let's, um, I think I have a replacement, so... What I'm going to do is just stop this video and then I'm going to start up another one and that's going to be on the uh, optical lens replacement. Okay everybody, I am back. I did find a replacement optical uh, uh, drive here and um, I had already swiped it out. So this is the old one and the new one is in here. I do apologize for not showing that part. I will uh, do another video showing how you... Uh, remove and install because on these, on all of them, you you have to remove, uh, depending on the ribbon cable layout, there are uh, this little dot of solder and it's to protect the laser uh, with the static and everything. So before you remove it, or I'm sorry, before you install it, you have to remove that, that solder blob. And um, so right now I have it installed. So now let's get this guy powered up and see if this works and just to recap um the initial problem was oh, do i have it here what did i do with it the initial problem was the gear there was a broken gear and i oh here it is one of the teeth were, was broken on here. Let's, let's turn this guy off. All right, let's get this guy to focus. There you go, as you could see, let's angle it. You can see one of the teeth are broken off and that was causing the stuttering on the uh, 
on the drive mechanism itself but then there was a secondary issue where once that was resolved I tried to power this on and the optical drive was dead so had to order up a new part and that did finally arrive so let's get this guy installed and like I said see if this let's see if there's any additional problems or this is going to be it so Make sure these are all locked down and in place before I go ahead and put on the brackets. So Bracket one, let's go to bracket number two here. Gotta pop this bottom clip back in. There we go. Now hopefully this unit will start working again. First time I ran into the part where the actual gear uh, was actually broken. But it was the first time for everything, I guess. All right, let's, this guy has to go in place. There we go.
so many screws. Uh, last one. Okay, moment of truth. Let's see here. Starting up with no problem. And this is the part where the gear was being stuck and you could hear it grinding. So we do not hear that. And you know what I forgot to do? I forgot to plug in the bottom here. Again. The reason why I could tell is when it was starting to do the, the last part of the test with the mechanism raised up and down, when it stopped halfway, I knew... That I forgot to plug it in. So we have to go through it again through the startup process. That's what it's supposed to do if you have it plugged in right the first time. Okay, so let's get one of our CDs in, and remember the last time when I tried to play it, it would just put it in, spin really fast, no sound, and then spit it out. So let's see. Hot damn! Boom! Okay. Where's my remote? Okay. I'm going to fast through fast forward through the song a little bit here. Can't play it long due to copyright protection. So now I'm going to fast forward through a couple songs. Okay. That sounds good. So I'm going to put a disc in drive 4. I like to skip around here instead of going to 3. I'll go down to four. Two's being ejected, and then it's going to go down and grab four. You ready, me? Okay. It's playing good. I'm going to fast forward through the song a little bit. And then I'm going to fast forward through the CD, go to another track. The reason why I like to fast forward through a song is because I like to see the reaction, the, uh, I like to see the reaction, the um, optical lens is going to output. Uh, sometimes if it's not going to read properly, it'll stop, it'll start skipping, um, It'll start grinding, so that's why I like to do a fast-forward test to kind of um, see how the optical lens is going to react. So, all right. Now let's go to drive three. Here we go. Even though there's only one optical lens, I always test each of the drives because you can have drives two and four work and three still can be misaligned. So I like to test each, each drive. All right, let's fast forward. All right, now let's fast forward through the, let's go find another track. And let's go ahead now and eject everybody. And the last one. 
Awesome. So there you have it. It is fixed. And a recap. The initial problem was it was making a grinding noise. And that was due to a broken gear. Right here. All right. One of the teeth are broken. And you can see it right there. All right. I'm watching the TV and it's like I'm doing the opposite of what I should be doing. There you go. A broken teeth right at the top there. And that was causing it to get hung up in the motor. And how I solved it was by going to one of the motors and first listening to see where I can find where that clicky noise was coming from. And, and by applying and using, well, let's rewind. I uh, hooked up an external power supply and set the voltage to the to the motors and then i went through each of the motors to to narrow down where i'm hearing that clicking sound once i found that uh, where i narrowed it down then i was able to focus on where it was coming from and, and sure enough found it he was actually um under a couple under another uh gear and so i had spares of those removed it then i went and tested it out the clicking and grinding had been removed but when i put in the cd to test it out um, it would just spin really fast and, and eject it out. Well, that was due to the optical sensor being bad. It failed. And those things do burn out. So uh, I had to wait and, and order up a part, and it finally arrived. And this was the test point. And I do apologize for not showing the part of installing it, but I will do a video strictly on installing a new laser because there are some things you do have to do ahead of time before you, some prep work before you do go ahead and get it installed. And, and I went through the test here and everything is working. So this is a, a successful repair. The owner is going to be very happy about this. And I just have to go through and just uh, reinstall everything and um, make a video for them. After each repair, all my clients or customers, I should say, um, get a personalized YouTube video showing them that the repair was successful. And I explained to them what was wrong with this. So... Um, I'd like to do that just so they could see it is their unit because I show them uh, the serial number that is matching to what was on the work order ticket just to kind of give them some sense of um, trust with me and I you know I don't know I've done it since day one and I do it with any repair and so far everyone has liked it and um, so yeah so I'm not going to ramble on any longer this was a long video but um, it did have to go in, in, in parts here but I'm going to um, uh, end it real quick here because I'm getting I gotta go on I got about five more sitting here I gotta get to so yeah so this was a six, successful repair please like share subscribe to my channel if you haven't already and those who have thank you very much um and until next time have a good one guys bye